Hey everybody, Sean from Media Assault here, and it's time for the third entry into my Halloween 2014 series. This time out, I am reviewing The Changeling, starring George C. Scott and Trish Vanderveer. This came out in 1980, and uh, this is a movie that I actually revisited for this review. I originally saw it when I was a little kid. I was probably in like 6th or 7th grade, and I saw it on HBO, and it scared the crap out of me. And I never watched it again until last weekend when my wife suggested it was a cold, rainy uh, fall night. And she's like, let's watch a scary movie. And she's not somebody who likes to watch a lot of scary movies. So we looked at a few things and I picked this one out of my DVD collection because I was looking for the perfect chance to re-watch it. Uh, very quick summary of the plot. Uh, George C. Scott plays a man named John Russell and he is a composer, uh, does a lot of work with a, a piano, writing songs and whatnot. He has recently lost his wife and daughter and he takes a job in Seattle to kind of get away from New York, I believe is where he's from. Um, <clears throat> and he is looking for a place to live. So some mutual friends introduce him to this woman named Claire, played by Trish Vanderveer, and she works for the local Historical Preservation Society. And she actually knows of this old, empty, humongous mansion that nobody is living in. It's fully furnished. It includes a piano. Uh, it would be perfect for somebody who's looking to live by themselves in a super oversized house that looks really damn creepy. So he takes it, he moves in. Strangely, of course, no one has lived there in something like 12 years. And strange things start to happen. One of the coolest things that happen, and I'm not, I'm not going to give away everything in this movie, because kind of the joy of this movie is the fact that it's kind of a, um, I don't want to say it's slow, but the pacing of it, it really kind of builds up to the eventual reveal of what's going on, and that is just a fantastic uh, moment in the film, and I don't want to rob that from you, but one of the creepy scenes in this film that I will give away is uh, George C. Scott is this, he plays this composer, and he's writing a piece of music. Later on in the film, he finds a music box in the house that plays, I think it's from 1909 or something like that. The music box plays the exact same song that he's been working on ever since he moved in the house. And of course, he had no way of knowing what that song was, being that it was in that music box. It's a really cool th uh, moment in the film. But this is a really old-fashioned, sort of classically styled horror film. It's not something that's going to have a ton of jump scares and, and try to cheat its way to scare you. This is a classic kind of turn up the suspense one notch at a time as the film goes on. A uh, perfect indicator of how effective is, it is is my wife, who watched The Conjuring, which is not a movie that you would expect her to want to watch, she really liked it, and she was looking for a movie that's very similar to that. I don't know how exactly similar this film is to The Conjuring, but this was the exact type of movie she was looking for. A classic, not gory, but scary, creepy film. And if you're looking for an old-fashioned ghost story, haunted house movie, this would be right up your alley. Um, this probably is one of my favorite horror films, ghost films, ghost stories, I guess, uh, that that's ever been made. And um, the packaging leaves a lot to be desired. This is a, uh, a super grainy, uh, looks like enlargement of a smaller picture uh, of a, you can see there's a wheelchair and a, a boy's silhouette there. I won't give away the, the uh, significance of that because, again, this really needs to be a movie that you let build up and scare you. Um, a lot of the things that I like about it, I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to spoil anything, but the cinematography in it is very good. The camera work is fantastic. The sound is really good. Uh, the special effects, what little there are, are pretty basic, and all of them are practical effects. Of course, this predates CGI uh, by quite a few decades. Um, but uh, overall, this is a really effective film that doesn't need a lot of tricks or gags or anything else other than a solid story, good filmmaking, and really effective performances from everyone involved. 
uh, to kind of reel you in and just scare the bejesus out of you. So no, it's not going to make you jump, but it will creep you out. And uh, if you watch it on a dark uh, night, dark stormy night, as the cliche goes, this one will get under your skin, I promise you. So my review of The Changeling is that I will give it a 9 out of 10 and uh, I highly recommend it as a Halloween film. And you can buy this on DVD from Amazon somewhere in the vicinity, five, six dollars. I picked this up uh, a couple of years ago online and I don't think I paid much more than that back then. Uh, so it is still in print. It's not particularly hard to find. Uh, it is not available on Blu-ray as far as I know, but do check out The Changeling. Thanks again for watching everybody. My next uh, Halloween entry will be up very shortly. I'm going to be watching The Possession, which is a recent, much more recent horror film uh, about the Dybbuk box, or the legend of the Dybbuk box, and it's based on a true story. So look forward to that, my final uh, entry into the Halloween 2014 series. So thanks again for watching, everybody. As always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.